So I was sent the latest Raspberry Pi Zero 2, not Raspberry Pi Zero Zero, Raspberry Pi Zero 2 or 1, it's Raspberry Pi 2 W Starter Kit. Uh, comes with everything you need. The Raspberry Pi 2 comes with a quad core processor, so a lot more projects you can do with this thing. Yes, you can still retro game with it. It comes with the desktop. Um, I, I don't know about that, but uh, you get, get the GPIOs. You can do all sorts of projects with it, tinkering with it. I love it. The price is ridiculous right now. We're not going to look at the price. We're just going to look at this kit and see what's going on. And I'm sure as things go, the price will fluctuate, but do know that they're sold out everywhere. So if you can find one, great. This is one option for you all out there. Um, so they asked me if I check it out. I said, sure, send me one over because right now it's hard to get one uh, at all. So here we go. That's what you got going on there. Oh, nice. You get a nice little hub. That's actually really important. Micro SD card that's not in the case. Oh, it has a pre installed 64 Pi OS with desktop uh, power. More power. HDMI adapter, heat sinks. Case. More adapters. Power. How many volts are they sending us? 5 volt, 3 amps. Or 9 volt, 2 amps. Then we got our. Here it is. This is the. The prime jewels right here is right here. And uh, for size comparison, we have the original Raspberry Pi Zero, not even W, and then the new one here. And uh, port-wise, you can see it's literally exactly the same. Quick comparison on raspberrypitips.com, the biggest thing being you have a quad core instead of a single core. Everything else is pretty much the same compared to the Pi Zero. W, so you get that faster CPU. You can see it down below. They have a little comparison here. As you see, it's still much faster than the Raspberry Pi Zero W, but still compared to the Raspberry Pi 4, that's really going to be your powerhouse. The Raspberry Pi 4 will be your desktop usage. Raspberry Pi 4 will be your newer retro game usage. I just want to show really quick Pi Zero 2W. This is a not even a 2. This is the original Pi Zero, not a 2. 75 bucks. Here's the kit we're reviewing. Here's just the board, 100 bucks. Here's just the board with a 16 gig, 112. So looks like you can't even get it. And if you go to the, everyone's sold out right now. So until, look at pre-order, sold out, pre-order, pre-order, pre-order. Pre yeah, you see, like everyone is is out. You check, you know, Vilros, everybody else. So um, before you get way too upset about the price, just know that that seems to be the going rate on a new board and it's freaking ridiculous. All right, so I unboxed it, I put it all together. It's a nice little kit, gives you everything you possibly need. Here I have it hooked up to an external monitor and you can just load up the desktop that's pre-built in, but that honestly is really boring. If you're gonna be doing tinkering, things like that, great, that's for you, but I'm a, I have a retro gaming channel. So what I recommend is you load it up with some sort of retro gaming image, you get retro pie. Just make sure you get the right base image. There are some pre-built images out there as well. And here's a nice little theme with a ton of games on it. You can play most arcade games and anything PlayStation and older should run fairly well on this thing. So let's check out some gameplay. See the, um, see the kind of lag. <laughs> So that's running pretty good. Great game. Love all sorts of stuff. Seems like a, a not so good. Oh, look at that grenade shot though. Ooh. The old hanging halfway up the ladder. And uh, there you go. So it works. No problem whatsoever. All right, final thoughts. The thing is ridiculously expensive, but hey, it can retro game really cool. It's It's got a huge community behind it, and it's great for tinkering. I really hope that these prices do go down, and they will come down accordingly. This company's made lots of stuff, and they kind of just price to whatever the market is. So I don't blame them in any way, shape, or form for that way um but overall i think the kit is cool i don't think you always need all the things that they're throwing in there some of it might be fluff that you don't need or you already have lying around so do keep that in mind but if you're new to all this and you just you know you need it you don't need a checklist you just get this it gives you everything you need um so thank you for sending me this it's cool i'm still like 
in awe, shocked with all the current pricing on all Raspberry Pi boards. And other than that, it's the community's great, the gaming on it's great, the um, it's good for all ages, and uh, they last forever. So that's what I think. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.